All right, let's turn back to your get ready weather right now. Robert, joining us again in the studio. Robert, a uh, wet day out there today, and uh, we understand a little bit more of that tomorrow on Easter Sunday, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, you're correct, Paul, with the chances for rain continuing. It's just overall a wet and raw weekend across the region. There's a look at the radar, and you can see mainly across southern portions of the River Valley. We've got some scattered sprinkles, uh, maybe a, a heavier downpour just outside of our viewing area here near Hot Springs. But for the most part, a couple of raindrops out there. Mostly northwest Arkansas should be dry. You can see yeah, one or two sprinkles there into Delaware and Adair County. Right now in Bentonville, things are nice and quiet. I-49 is nice and dry. 57 degrees with a few peaks of sunshine. But man, those temperatures, they are well below average uh, for this time of the year. Everybody in northwest Arkansas, mid to upper 50s. I don't see any 60 degree readings uh, anymore. River Valley, about the same thing. They are about 10 degrees warmer, 64 in Fort Smith. Gusty winds, though, out of the east at 15 miles an hour. Just about everybody here in the River Valley uh, parked between 63 and 65 degrees. But as I said, we will continue to watch those on and off again showers as we go through tonight and into tomorrow morning. If you're headed to church or maybe uh, grab some uh, Easter pastries at the bakery or maybe for that morning run, uh, you'll be dodging and running through some raindrops out there as this boundary will cross the area. Then as we go through the evening hours, that rainfall should finally sh start to shut off. Then we'll see a cold front cross the area getting into early Monday morning. That'll push the system out of here and start to clear our skies out. And a very nice Monday is on tap just in time to head back to work and school. Now, after that, a big warm up starts to get underway. Looking six to 10 days out, you can see very strong confidence across the eastern part of the country at above average temperatures. That does also include our area. Uh, the, probably the strongest confidence is over Arkansas for all of those above average temperatures, not just six to 10 days out, but also confidence in above average temperatures eight to 14 days out. But that warm up could come with additional precipitation as we could see above average precipitation six to 10 days out. This is great news for Oklahoma and Texas, uh, which is uh, really suffering from a major drought. And then eight to 14 days out, also looking at the possibility of above average precipitation. Lows tonight really won't go very far in the 40s, and then they won't rise very far tomorrow afternoon by about 10 degrees. Th all that cloud cover, it keeps our overnight temperatures warm and our daytime temperatures low. So remember that. That's your meteorology lesson for the day. Sunshine Monday and Tuesday. Watching Tuesday night and into Wednesday for a couple of showers and thunderstorms. But temperatures you see there by the end of next week, we are into the uh, mid to upper 70s in northwest Arkansas. Same thing in the River Valley. Uh, sunshine returns Monday and Tuesday, Paul. And then rain and storms return by the middle of next week. All right. Looking forward to the 70s, though. No doubt about that.